been Scottsdale and then Park City, Utah, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So some uh, mostly just director of instruction out there. So I've been teaching full time. My basically my whole career, I I decided that would be the best approach for me. So I still try to compete and play as much as I can. And then I just try to combine the teaching with the playing. And a lot of the stuff that I'm sharing with you is so that I can make birdies, <laughs> right? And I've gone through everything you could possibly imagine, researched every possible variation. I mean, that's my job as your coach, right? My job is to shortcut your learning process. You pay money to get my knowledge. My knowledge is accumulated over 25 years, just like everybody here has an expertise in their business, in their life, in their work someone would pay you for your knowledge, right? And what I've been able to do is say, I'm not just understanding all this stuff, but I apply it in my own game because I want to compete in tournaments so that I can beat everybody else. And I want to do it as I get older and older and older, right? So I just wanted to kind of review everything real quick, but I wanted to make a, a, an on-course progression for you too, because when, when we... Everybody got up here and started stick swishing, and it was awesome. And the first two or three shots, pretty much for everybody, were just like rocketing off the face. And then we had a little bit of a reversion, right? We kind of went back. So I'm going to show you briefly the process again. And then we're going to try to build a process using one of our clubs on the course, right? So here's the process. We have the stick swish. We're hinging, and we're creating a percentage of energy. Then we're going to the elbow. Now, I wanted to clarify, this elbow, this arm, created a bend in the elbow. The job is to just straighten that arm, right? So I'm not t taking my elbow. I'm not tucking it against my ribs. I didn't, I didn't tuck it against my ribs on the way up, so I don't need to tuck it the other way, right? So all I did was, as I hinged, I took my arm up. As I raised my arm, I created a bend. If I really was just get a one one arm golfer, which there's plenty of them out there, maybe I don't even need to really bend my elbow much. I'll just pull it straight up. But because I know I'm going to have a left arm attached at some point, I'm going to bend it here. But once it's there, I'm not tucking it. I'm not doing anything different. I hinged, I bent, I straightened, and I unbent, and it all happens like in a split second. So right away, it has to happen right, right here. So what I'm seeing from several people when you mess it up is when you get to here, I see a lot of that. So the second that this happens, how am I supposed to get this to hit back down here? It's not going to. I'm going to cut through the top of the bag, and I'm going to chop across, and then I'm going to create the side spin, right? So when I take this and put my driver in my hand, same thing. I hinge it behind me, and I throw it back in front of me. And look how quiet my feet are staying, right? So let's say you're out on the first hole, and you, you've done a great warm-up. You're hitting it great, and you get up on the first tee. You go like this. You're feeling a little bit nervous. You pick the club up, you spin your body left, you know, and you hit a bad one or you hit a slice. Basically, if you're out walking the course the entire way down the fairway, I want you doing this kind of thing, right? You see these pros on TV, they're always kind of rehearsing something. <clears throat> you're allowed to practice or rehearse with any, any actual golf club you have in your bag. I can't pull out a training tool like my Sabre and start swinging at mid-round, but I can take my driver and flip it over. So then, regardless of what your buddies think, you're going to stand up on the second hole, and you're going to go like this. So make a little space there. Take your left arm, left hand, put it up here on your shoulder. Yep, and then as you swing, I want you to pull it back and swish, but I want both those feet to stay flat on the ground. Good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to, with those feet flat on the ground, I want you to go more sidearm, like more level, more, yeah, horizontal than vertical, right? And while you're doing that, I want you to be aware of the sound that you're creating. So if I'm out on the course, all right, you can stop there. 
if I'm out on the course and I tee up my ball and I go like this, and I turn my back to the target and I swish my arm, that's a rehearsal. Never go straight from a rehearsal to this end and hit. You always want to put one because it's way heavier. And then you're going to step up and hit. You're going to turn back, throw, and your feet are just going to stay there. Because what you need, especially in that moment, is you need to take an overdose of the solution. Because what you've done is you've reverted, and your feet have started to move, your shoulders have started to tip, you're lagging the angle, you're not throwing it out. So what you need to do is overdose. If you overdose correctly on this correction, you should get like a bit of a pull or a bit of a draw. So just know it's coming and aim down the right side of the fairway so that when you keep your feet flat on the ground and you swish early, that club comes around. You guys all noticed that, right? If you really overdose on what I'm saying, you, the ball actually started to draw left. Maybe it pulled a little, and then it even drew more. So you just got to know that that's coming out because there's just as many hazards on the left side of the fairway as there are on the right. But hopefully what you're picking up now is the, is the efficiency of what we're doing. So here's what I want us to do. When you go back to your station, I want you to tee up a ball. I want you to take your driver, flip it over. Just do, just do two. Like you don't need to spend all day doing this on the third hole. So then take your driver, make your brain say, okay, right arm's in control, pull it back, swish, then step up and hit. Okay, that's what we're gonna work on.